Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karande. If you don't know me, and if you do know me, then welcome back. Today, I'm not going to be doing my usual sit down and talk type video. Well, I am sitting down and talking. But I want to work on some psychic development. Now, I know everybody out there isn't psychic, but I have known since I was a kid. I just didn't know what it was when I was a kid. I just recently started to figure out a lot of things are from this, like this spirituality stuff it's kind of crazy honestly but i've always been a bit clairvoyant well honestly clairvoyant clairsentient clair empathy that's the main ones i don't really i i mean everybody has a bit of everything that's what i've been hearing from other people as well and i noticed that but those are the main ones. I also have the Psychic King book. I just bought this like a few days ago. And it's really good, honestly. It was at five below, so max five dollars. I forgot. But it's the Psychic King book, a practical guide to developing your intuition by Karen Fraser. And it literally has everything from like mediumship to what everything means. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, everything is in this book but i found this um this oh my gosh. Oh, i brought that up because it has a lot of um development things you can do to work on developing in here but the one i'm doing today i got from a youtube channel called suburban witchery but i'm gonna work on we're gonna get into this book too eventually But for this exercise, you don't need tarot cards. You can have a deck, like a regular deck of cards, honestly. But what I would do, it's kind of, um, um, I, I lied. Clear cognizance is a big part of, um, my psychiness too. Mostly clairvoyance, claircognizance, clairsentience. Clair empathy, it only happens when I hear about things or I'm around people and I'm usually by myself or I try to be. But for this exercise, strengthen my mainly my intuition, which will help clear cognizance, clear avoidance. I'm gonna hold up a card for y'all to see. Now I'm not gonna look I'm gonna have my eyes closed. And I just fear through the card <laughs> it's not really much to explain but you'll see i'm going to describe what i think the card through feeling i mean sometimes i feel the card and i like i rub my third eye as well just to get it activated sorry so i think today i'm only going to do like five cards i'm just going to lay them spread out like this right here Also, I have this amethyst. I just got this, so I'm gonna try it out today. But usually, when I used to do it, I mean, when I do this activity, I don't use crystals, but we'll see. This will help your third eye and spirituality and intuition. So, I mean, I feel like that would come in handy. So, I'll pick up a card, keep my eyes closed, and describe it to you. And then I'll look at it when I'm ready. Um, and so, yeah, let's get into it. Hopefully I can see this, but instantly I felt red and a hint of yellow. I imagine it's not like a higher person, like not a queen or a king maybe, but I feel like it's some clothes, like some flowy, it's something flowy, red flowy clothes. I believe this is a man as well, but... Maybe night related. This is the star. So that one was wrong, but honestly, if you get some wrong, it's fine. This is why you practice to strengthen it and develop it. So I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna make a separate pile for the cards I already. Thank you. 
this card feels powerful. Like, was being depicted something really powerful. Like, some of the cards are like fools and stuff like that, but I feel a silver a little powerful and silver. This is the Ten of Pentacles. Technically, it's powerful because the tens, if you didn't know, do tarot. Like, ones are not the weakest, but the beginning is, you know. And ten is completion, so pretty powerful. Silver. Are you guys feeling the silver dogs in the silver background? I believe. But the Ten of Pentacles, that's a super powerful, actually. I knew it wasn't like a king or like a major arcana. This is a cup card, I feel. Something with water, something blue, and hint of yellow. I really feel water for some reason. Actually, I was right. This is the six of cups. And I guess the sky was blue. But I mostly felt the cup water vibe. I'm not too sure. I feel in men and women in red with yellow. That doesn't make sense, but <laughs> I mean heart. Men and women. Love. Red. Yellow? I kept thinking yellow skin color for some reason. Like sometimes you'll get like information in your brain and you just wouldn't know. Like yellow skin color. I guess the people I was thinking of. Like the emojis are yellow for every skin color. Does that make sense? Alright, that was four, so I'm gonna do one more. the meaning is dark or the actual card so i'm not really seeing much more about it i think it's a person oh, maybe um the um not hierophant i'm not sure oh see i felt the feeling it was an arcana and the meaning of justice can be dark depending on what side of the justice you're on. I literally just pulled this earlier in a reading that posted on my TikTok. And go follow. Is that the same name? But that is the five cards for today. I mean, I think out of these, I mean, these three were super accurate. The star, I was pretty off. This one, I was like halfway there, so yeah, I think that's pretty good for what it is. I mean, I'm still practicing, still developing. You never stop learning, so that is one thing. But if you would like to see more videos like this, then just let me know in the comment section. I plan on making more anyway, but <laughs> um, 
I would like to hear your feedback too. But I thank you all for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And all my other socials are below. And I hope to see you in my next